Hello, viewers, and welcome to my blog. Um, it's a lovely overcast island day, a little bit misty, and I'm going to show you uh, what I'm up to today. I promised myself the first uh, half-decent day after Christmas. So what I'm doing on this first half-decent day, minus sunshine, is getting these items, wreath and these wonderful deer, all the way up here by Santa Claus. Small space, a lot of Christmas stuff. So we'll have to see how that works, but that's what we're attempting to do today. So I've been out looking around today and everything in our backyard is budding you know, very nicely. So um, spring on the island, although we had the setback of snow and some cold weather over the uh, Christmas holidays, things are looking pretty good now. And uh, turning around to see our garden again, Here's a big magnolia tree, which is doing really well. It's growing like crazy. And I did a bit of gardening. For those of you back in Ontario who are just getting out of two days of minus 35 uh, degree wind chill uh, temperatures, I want you to know I did some trimming today in the garden. And some of these plants, which I didn't cut down at Christmas because they were still blooming. And then the cold and the bit of snow we got, well, the lot of snow we got, <laughs> no bit about it, um, on the island broke them down. But you can see our other plants are doing well. Um, some plants are starting to come into flower, as you can see with this one, which is very pretty. I think that's called a skimmia, I believe. Uh, underneath this bucket here is um, our um, a red banana plant right under here, and it's covered up and some laurel, and there's a lovely heather that's out in bloom today, very nice, and a cute little fern, little Boston type fern next to it, as you can see here. We got a bush over here, um, which is a Mexican orange, if I remember correctly, and our Mexican orange is all out in berries. A little bit more red than orange, but anyhow, that's what that is, and then here we go. This is one of our garden uh, accents, this fella from Easter Island. And he keeps watch over our garden for us. He's quite neat. We get a lot of comments on him sitting in the garden. Uh, this stuff, Ontario, is called green grass. And we come to the garden at the front. There's the yucca filamentosa down there underneath the uh, uh, palm at the front. The Tradescantia fortunae and uh, all the other green plants here. And I'm going to show you what happens here. Of course, the roadies will overwinter in Ontario, but they are pretty frozen. Uh, they, there's not much to them. And here are our roadies, you can see here. Um, this is a beard tongue right here. It comes out purple, beautiful flowers all summer and fall. And another roadie, you can see all the lovely blooms that are on this roadie, uh, which will come out Oh, probably in May. It could be June. They flower at different times. And this beautiful palm tree, which is still fairly small in our yard. Not like the ones we had in our other house on the island. And uh, lots of nice green palm fronds. So, I wanted to share that with you today. And then here to the front, there's our Muskoka chairs. For any of you uh, in Ontario, you know these are called Muskoka chairs here on the island. Uh, sometimes you hear Muskoka chairs, but other times you hear that uh, American reference, what they call them. So we always try to correct people when they uh, use that term. So, so there you go. A little bit of greenery to um, maybe make you happy, give you a bit of a lift at this time. Of year if you're not living somewhere where it's mild and where you have no snow and uh, no minus temperatures so i'm so glad that you're able to join us today i'm heading back over to the garage now because i have to fit all those christmas decorations in that little tiny spot mm, i wonder if it'll work anyhow Viewers, love and joy be all around. Thank you so much for tuning in today, and we will see you next time right here on my Rob blog. See you soon.